What is deception? The best argument people try to make against Shinshinji is that we lie. And how do we lie? People say we lie and deceive by not revealing our affiliation with Shinshinji in Zion Mission Centers, the Bible studies. I would like to admit something. I have lied before, and I do lie. There are times when I'm not hungry, but I say that I am for the sake of the one who prepared a meal for me. There are times when I'm tired, but I tell my parents I'm fine so that they don't worry. There are times when I fear the loss of my parents, but I say, no, mom, everything will be fine. I'll admit I am not perfect. I do lie, but I do strive to be perfect like my heavenly father. There are two situations where people ask about our affiliation with Shinshinji. Situation number one, people do not ask, are you Shinshinji? Unless they have heard slanderous claims about us. These claims are made by those who are abusive, antagonistic, and slanderous against Shinshinji. Situation number two, people do ask us, are you Shinshinji? And when they ask, we respond with a yes or a no. We answer yes, if the Shinchenji they are referring to is the fulfillment of the prophecy found in Revelation. Shinchenji means new heaven and new earth, the promised location in Revelation chapter 21. We answer no, if the Shinchenji they are referring to is the wrong Shinchenji, a Shinchenji created by an internet keyboard warrior who is either getting paid to write lies online or rights to satisfy their own evil desires with no regard for truth. Is that answer deceptive? Should I answer, yes, I'm Joseph, if someone asks if I'm the Joseph Stalin that oppressed thousands? I am not that Joseph. Despite this, people will continue to say they feel like they were deceived and were betrayed. If we answer that we are not the Shinchenji people have made up in their own fantasies. I would like to ask you to think about this situation. You need to send an email and sign up for Gmail. Later you find out Gmail belongs to Google and Google belongs to Alphabet. Alphabet? You've never heard of that company before. You don't know what they do. And you didn't know that Gmail was actually Alphabet. Do you feel deceived and betrayed? Or are you fine? since you were able to send the email, the purpose of signing up for Gmail. Is it the responsibility of Gmail to make sure that you clearly understand its connection to Google and to Alphabet before you signed up? An objection might be, but not knowing about Alphabet doesn't affect my life. That's not true. By signing up for Gmail, you sign your agreement to a contract of terms and conditions. You provide your personal information including name, age, and phone, and you give them permission to track and possess other information about you. This information can be sold, misused, or distorted. You can be tracked and surveyed. You can be used for marketing purposes for someone else to make money off of what you do online, etc. The list goes on. These are all ways Alphabet can affect your life. Are you deceived because they did not explain this to you? before you signed up for Gmail? Did Gmail deceive you? Didn't it fulfill its purpose and you got to send that email? What lies have we made about Bible study or mission center? People come to Bible studies in Zion Mission Center because they want to learn the Bible. And we provide free Bible studies to those who want to learn. It is open to everyone and people can take advantage of the scriptural education we provide. Being in Bible study or Zion Mission Center does not mean that you are a part of Shinchenji, nor do you have to be. Before just repeating what others have said and accusing someone of deception, I invite you, first think, and to be able to answer these questions with us.